You didn't, like, the entire video. I know. He's the whole thing. I can almost, I can almost go live. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole, and welcome to the Produce Made Simple Kitchen. Produce Made Simple is your go-to resource for all things fruits and veg. Today, we're making an amazing salad niçoise. And the thing that's great about this is that you can add sort of the traditional ingredients like the hard-boiled eggs and capers and some salmon, but you can also add a variety of fruits and vegetables you might have still in your fridge left over. So let's get started. Right now, uh, I've got a base of romaine lettuce some arugula and a little bit of parsley. And to that, I'm going to add corn on the cob. So corn on the cob is one of those things that's delicious when it's fresh, but then after it's gone cold, it's not the best eating it off the cob. Instead of wasting it, just use a knife and cut it right off. Corn is one of those go-to things that we all love in the summer. Uh, everyone gets really excited when it comes back in season and we all see it growing on the sides of the fields. Um, and what's terrific about this is it adds a really super burst of color into the salad. So I'm going to be adding a lot of other things. I'm just going to cut the side for a little bit later. Uh, another thing we're going to add are some greenhouse tomatoes. I'm just going to cut a few into bite-sized pieces. We also have some chopped cucumber. Again, these are grown in greenhouses in Ontario and they're available all year long. I've also got a bit of spring onion or green onion. And what you see here are some boiled mini potatoes. I think the thing that's really interesting to sort of remember about potatoes is that you really should pick the right potato for use. So for a salad, uh, a red potato would also be an amazing choice. They hold their shape very well. Whites and reds are also great, boiled, but I would discourage you from using a russet potato uh, in boiled applications. Because it's so starchy, it tends to sort of fall apart, but the russet is great when it's baked. So again, I'm just gonna chop up a few of these into bite-sized pieces to add into the salad. Some green beans. These are great fresh out of the garden. Also, they're terrific. They come into season sort of late summer. And uh, you can just quickly boil these and then plunge them into cold water to stop the boiling process or the cooking process. Uh, this just really helps them keep their tenderness with that bite and the color. We've got some hard-boiled eggs. And because I just think they're so pretty, I'm just gonna kind of put them in like this. And um, some capers. Just a few. And then there's a little bit of salmon. This was again just left over. It was roasted in the oven for dinner last night. We'll just add a little bit of that on top. You could add instead of salmon, you could add um, something like chickpeas or chicken. You can choose the protein of your choice. I mean, alternatively, you can just leave it with the eggs. So to finish this up, we'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I personally don't add a lot because it's not my favorite. I think the flavors speak for themselves, but Everyone's different, so add as much as you like. And then we've got just a combination of red wine vinegar and some olive oil here. Just a little bit, just to kind of top it off. I have to say, these are one of my favorite salads. So, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more Produce Made Simple, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. So. Intro and. <laughs> Whole video. Yeah. <laughs> because it's amazing, yeah. put one. <laughs>